I vividly remember my first class at college, mostly because it was such a train wreck. The class was public speaking, and I remember it was a speech of introduction, and I got in front of the class with a transcript, and I read off that transcript a mile a minute in the most dull, monotone voice you could imagine. And I did that not because I thought that it was effective public speaking. I was under no such delusions. I did it because I had always feared public speaking, resented it even. To me, public speaking always seemed to be a necessary evil, something that I knew I needed to learn because I wanted to be an attorney, but something that I just knew I would always dislike. But then I started studying communication rhetoric at the University of Pittsburgh, and something changed. I remember sitting in classrooms and listening to famous orators deliver these moving, compelling speeches, and it struck me that there was nothing more persuasive, nothing more impressive to me than a speaker who could get in front of a room and really command the audience speak passionately, enthusiastically. And so I began to study public speaking. I learned such techniques as extemporaneous speaking. I learned how to use my voice as a tool. I gained confidence in front of an audience. And so it was that through studying communication rhetoric at the University of Pittsburgh, I took something that I had once bitterly feared and resented and turned it into a passion of mine. Now I love public speaking. Now it's the reason why I want to be an attorney. And that's what being a communication rhetoric major is about. It's about taking these skills that cause us so much anxiety and replacing that anxiety with passion. As much of an exercise in these applied practical skills that you'll use every single day in the workplace as an exercise in empowerment.